here, will they? Quick, just hold up for every seat. They potted lucky in the arm, got all the money, and got away quicker than you can bat an island. Where was this? When did it happen? About 15 miles south here. Tell the side stop it quick. All right, come on, boys. Get your horses. Mary, you take Lucky over to the hospital, to the doctor. Hey, how about me? You ain't gonna leave me out on this party. You use Mary's horse. Come on, man. All right, boys, let's go. Ah, looks like the sheriff's got the whole town out with him. Yeah. Better signal the boys to get going, hadn't we? Yeah. Hey, Johnson. All right, let's get out of here. Now don't forget what the boss said. Go to town different directions. All right. Well, I don't know. I guess you boys might as well go home and get some sleep. Could you describe those bandits if you saw them again? Tom, I don't know no more about what they look like than you do. Hmm. That sounds fishy to me. Oh, fishy, eh? Stick them up. Don't turn around. Wendy, what in Hades is the matter with you? Put up that gun. You try turning around, and I'll drill you right through the back. Go on. Try sneaking a look, mister. Are, are you crazy? What's the matter with you? Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to show this smart aleck, this know-it-all. Just how easy it is when you got a six-gun in your back to turn on a man that says don't turn. You try any more tricks like that and you'll get drilled. Not by the likes of you, sonny. Oh, well, now stop all this arguing. We'll never find out who held up the stage. Now, let's get back to business. Mr. Caldwell, are you sure that you and me are the only ones who knew when that money was coming in? Positive. And in view of that fact, I have only one course to follow. I'm going to bring in a special detective to investigate this case. Now you're getting smart. Mr. Caldwell, do you mean to say that you I think I... I mean that I'm going to have you investigated, yes. Well, you call in your investigators. Call in an army of investigators. But don't you come near my office asking for help until you've taken back what you've said and in front of the whole town. Well, I don't know. But it seems as the sheriff is the only one who knows anything. Don't you say nothing again, the sheriff, or I'll... Ah, go button your lip. Come on, Wendy, let him talk. Ah. Don't give me his lip. For two cents, I pinch his ears back. Yeah, for less than that. Oh, now, come on, stop grumbling. Ah, uh, grumbling, I'm uh, grumbling. Now, Dad, you're getting all excited. You can't help it if something Say, like that... Say, can you imagine that miserly old weasel accusing me oh, of... Oh, Tom wouldn't pay no attention to him. But I'd sure make him apologize. You wouldn't pay no attention to it, but you'd sure make him apologize. What kind of talk is that, Wendy? Why, you young squirt, what's the matter the way I talk? Well, it just doesn't make sense. Oh, be quiet, both of you. Well, you heard what Caldwell said. If I don't catch that gang before his detective gets busy, there's going to be a new sheriff in this town. Well, he can't hold you responsible because Wendy and me were held up. Yes, but they will. Dad's right. Caldwell and Nixon have tried more than once to get rid of him. <sighs> he ain't got no more chance than a yearling in a Texas cycle. Yes, well, they'll do it. I sure wish I had a couple of smart fellows with brains to help me. Well, you just say the word and I'm ready to go to work for you. You? He said smart with brains. Oh, is that so? I guess you don't remember the time I tracked that engine down all by myself over on the reservation, huh? Well, I'll never forget it, Wendy. <laughs> you bet you. He went around circles and blamed it on his horse. <laughs> yeah, and someday you're gonna go, oh! Oh, you see that? Yeah, I saw it, certainly I did. Why do you always tease Wendy the way you do? I think you're mean. I don't know, I just like to see him get mad. It's as hot as an old stove. But I think he may be able to help Dad. After all, he knows the country around here pretty well. Well, he should, the old maverick. He and Hoppy's been riding herd on this state for years. Hoppy, I wonder what's happened to him. 
I haven't seen him in months. He's over at the West Basin. Help an old man brown with a roundup. There. Now take care of it and don't get any dirt in it. I won't. It'll be all right in a few days. Then we'll get those hold-up artists. That may be too late, Lucky, and being sheriff means so much to Dad. Now stop your worrying. Forget it. I'll see you tonight at supper. The sheriff's kids. Yeah. What are they snooping around here for? Easy. I'll take care of this. Hi, strangers. Long. Long way from home, ain't you? No, sir. Well, that is not so far. No? Do you ride around these parts much? Just depends. Depends on what? Oh, well, which way we want to ride. Well, next time you go for a ride, better go another direction. We only wanted to water our horses. Well, water your horses someplace else. Now get out of here. Pick me back. is a surprise. I hope the surprise didn't hurt anyone. No. How are you, Hoppy? Fine, Mary. Gosh, you're just as pretty as ever. <laughs> Thanks. Say, what are you two doing so far from your home range? I just had to see you, Hoppy. Dad doesn't know I'm here, but he needs help right away. What's wrong? What's happened? Well, in the first place, the stage was held up again. Hey! Get out of there! Bad enough to have a lot of cub punchers around here without visitors coming in and shooting up the place. Well, I'm hungry. If you were hungry, wouldn't you want something to eat? Well, all right. But I'm not half as hungry as I'll be for breakfast. Breakfast? You, you, you gonna stay here all night? Yeah, she said I could. Well, I'll be a mule skinner, people. You should have sent Lucky or somebody. That's a dangerous ride, especially with bandits hanging around. I couldn't. Lucky got shot. What? Oh, it's not serious. Just in his arm. Yeah, but it's in his gun arm. 
And if he got in trouble, he couldn't draw like I can. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we come in there having to shoot it out. And we stopped over there on that cabin on Sulphur Creek. Is that so? What happened? Someone came out of the cabin and told us to move on. Nobody lives in that old cabin. It's been deserted for years. I know it. Someone's there now. There is? Well, that's funny. There was nobody there two days ago. I brought some cattle by there. What'd you do? Well, when I saw he didn't have no six-gun on him, I just figured no use for me to start any trouble, so we just moved on. That was a good idea. See you lucky for a minute, Mary. You ride on home and I'll be over in a little while. All right. Come over and have supper with us. That sounds good to me. See you later, Hoppy. All right. Hi, Hoppy. I ain't seen you in a long time. Oh, yeah, Ed. Just come in to check up on Lucky. I heard he got shot. Oh, uh, him and Wendy's over at the jail. All those detectives there. And he's been asking everybody the darndest questions. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I guess we'll look in on them. Who's that fella? Oh, that's uh, Cassidy. He's a sidekick of the kid that got shot in the stagecoach holdup. And if I know him, he'll track that gang to Hades just to even up for what they did to Lucky. He can outdraw and outshoot any man I've ever seen. You don't say. You're sure, Mr. Caldwell, you and the sheriff were the only ones who knew the money was on the stage? Positive. That is, except the driver and the guard. Now, you hold on there, mister. Don't you try to get me and Lucky mixed up in this thing. You give us a letter to take to the bank and wait for an answer. Well, we waited so darn long with Mr. Supper. Ah. You mean you received the money under cover of darkness? I don't mean no such thing. There wasn't no cover on it except them canvas bags and they was white. You see, after waiting a long time, the bank clerk told us to come back in the morning when we were ready to pull out. He'd this, give us the answer then. That's right. So we pulled up in front of the bank and they gave us six bags of $20 gold pieces. How did you know the bags were full of $20 gold pieces? Of course, he told us they was. You said he gave you a letter and told you to wait for an answer. Better make up your mind to one story and stick to it. Don't you tell me what to do or I'll tell you a story you won't forget right soon. You tin horn Shylock Holmes. Now, Wendy, don't get all riled up. What he means is, it was after the holdup, Mr. Caldwell told us what was in those bags. Well, Mr. Caldwell, Mr. Sheriff, that's all for tonight. Tomorrow we'll start tracking. That is, if we can find anybody around here who knows anything about tracking. Knows anything about tracking? Why, I forgot more about tracking than any man in this country. Huh, <laughs> tracking. I guess he didn't like what I said, eh? Well, they can take it or leave it. Yeah, and I'm just the one that can do it, too. <laughs> Well, Hoppy! How are you, Tom? Hello there, I'm fine. Say, gee whiz, I sure am glad to see you. Thanks. How are you, partner? All right. What are you doing in town? Well, I heard Lucky got shot. I thought he'd come in and see what happened. Oh. How's your arm? Oh, it's all right. Say, you ought to have been here a little sooner, Hoppy, and hear me tell that detective off. Shucks, I was too slick for him. They'd lead me into a trap, and then I'd wiggle out of it just like that. Yeah, I heard. Oh. <laughs> well, tell me what's been going on around here. Well, I'll tell you, Hoppy, it's a long story. I'll have to tell you about it later. How about you fellas all coming over to the house for supper? Good idea. I never did like to listen to a long story on an empty stomach. Come on before I eat Wendy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, Caldwell, the banker, and Nixon, he's the real estate agent, they used to be partners, but they had an argument of some kind and split up. Still partners in all that land they gobbled up. What land? They own everything around here except six ranches east of the river. That's right. If Nixon gets those, they'll control the water rights. You ask me, you got them now. What do you mean? Uh, well, you see, the men who own those ranches have the mortgage to Nixon. The mortgage is due, so Nixon either wants the money or the land. So Caldwell said he'd loan the boys the money to pay Nixon, but he'd have to send for it. He doesn't keep that much on hand at the bank. Well, then the money the bandits got from the stage is the money Caldwell was going to loan the ranchers. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, $30,000 in $20 gold pieces, $5,000 to the bag. You sure of that? Well, yeah, well, at least that's what Caldwell said. And didn't you say that the bags were marked Rancher's National Bank? Yes, I saw them in Green River when we put them in the box. 
By cracky happy, I got it. Nixon must have heard we was bringing the money in. Him wanting the land, he didn't want the boys to get the money so they could pay him off. That's why he's trying to make folks suspicious of Tom. Say, I never thought of that. I'll arrest him on suspicion. No, not so fast, Tom. You might be right. But if Nixon had anything to do with this, it's my guess he had plenty of help. Now, if we just take our time, we'll round up the whole gang. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right at that, Hoppy. Say, I just happen to think I left my horse tied up out there in the street. I better go out and get him. <laughs> You'll excuse me, will you? Well, sure, go right ahead. seen anybody at that deserted shack. Why? Do you think the men well, out there... I don't there... know. But I don't want your father to go out there until I've had a chance to do a little investigating. You're not going out there tonight, Hoppy. No. I'll be back in a little while. You're quite a stranger. Yeah, I've been kind of busy at the roundup. Going to be in town for a while? Just a couple of days. I haven't finished my branding yet. Fine. Tell the man Brand hello for me. Yeah, I'll do that. Good night. Good night. Say, won't hurt to keep an eye on him. Better warn the boys, too. All right. that they were showing up. Yeah. Here's some more grub for you, fellas. Not to last you a few more days few days. How long we got to hang around this place? Till the boss says it's safe to move the stuff in. And another thing. You know that fellow they call Cassidy? Yeah. Well, if you see him around here, get rid of him. Leave it there. Come on. Taking part of our share in case we got to make a fast getaway. Yeah, I know, but suppose the boss finds out. We're taking the chances, ain't we? Stepping out here with the stuff while the rest of them's in town are having a good time. Yeah, but listen, son. This oh, is... put a couple of hundred in your belt and forget about it.
Dick. You going back to the ranch already? No, not yet. Hey, I thought you were warned to keep away from here. They can't tell me where to ride. That a boy. But don't get too sure of yourself. I won't. Hey, you got your gun loaded? Yeah. You want to help me out in some dangerous work? Sure. We gonna get some gunplay? Oh, uh, we might. Oh, boy. Now, listen. You won't let me down, will you, partner? Not me, Huffy. All right. Now, here's what I want you to do. Remember the old shack down there where you and Mary stopped to water your ponies? Yeah. I want you to ride down there, go around in front of the house. There's that darn kid again. I thought I told you to stay away from here. Yes, sir. Yes, I just forgot. Get on your horse and get out of here. The next time you come prowling around this place, there won't be no warning. Yes, sir. everything just right but we're not through yet i gotta go back to town i want you to hide out here someplace with your pony where you can watch that cabin someplace where they can't see you now, if anybody comes around get on your pony and follow them wherever they go i want you to go out there and tell them just what i told you all right i don't know what you're up to huffy but i guess you know what you're doing now we'll know soon enough whether i'm right say what's the meeting all about i don't know here comes the sheriff now Boys, I'm deputizing every available man in this town. Now, I've scoured the entire South Country, and I haven't found a trace of those stagecoach bandits. I want you boys to go and get your horses, and we'll scour the North Country. Because I think that that gang is headed that way. I think that they're trying to throw us off their tracks by doubling back up the river. You men oil up your guns, because we're going to get plenty of fight when we meet up with that gang. All right, now, get your horses. I wish Hoppy would tell me what his game is. Never kept nothing from me before. Why, he wants the whole town to ride an horse more than I can figure out. Anything Hoppy does is more than you can figure out. Oh, yeah? Well, you're so darn good at arithmetic. Suppose you try to figure it out, you young smart aleck. All right, Wendy, you and Lucky take care of things till we get back. Come on, boys.
All right, boys, we're moving in with the stuff. It's about time, leaving us stuck out here while you fellas are having a good time. I'll quit your beefing and get the bags. Any people around town? No, the whole town rode north with the sheriff to catch the bandits. Yeah? <laughs> Go on in, see that everything's all right. We'll wait here till you get back. Hurry it up. Are you fixing something to eat? Not yet, Sting. I'll let you know. All right. or something on a saddle. Good work, Dick. Now, wait a minute. That's them now. We gotta keep our eyes open and work fast. Now do just what I told you. Boy, is this gonna be a surprise party. Forget the party. Get your horses and don't attract attention. Come on. Everything okay? Yeah. Dutch and Johnson's waiting for the word to come into the stud. Oh, uh, that's great. Now don't give the signal until you see them right out. All right, Hoppy. Go bring in the boys. We'll be waiting for you. All right. And hurry it up. Ain't that the sheriff's kid over there? Sure. Why? How long has he been around town? He rode in just a few minutes ago. Just what I thought. We should have bumped him off when we had the chance. What are you talking about? That kid. We caught him snooping around the shack twice. Why wasn't I told about this? You're being told now. And what's that warning you sent about Cassidy? Yeah, my hunch was right. But it's too late now to stop. We gotta take a chance and quick. You keep an eye on Cassidy and that kid. And if they get too inquisitive, you know what to do. I'll go bring in Dutch and Johnson. You see that there's no interference until we get rid of that money. Keep an eye on that kid. I'll watch Cassidy when he comes out.
thing. Give me some coffee and donuts. All right. I hope something happens here soon. This wagon is harder than my bed. Can't be. It's just those old bones breaking out through your hide. Why, you young whipper. Well, yeah, now, Hoppy may have his suspicions, but I got mine, too. I never did like that fella. Hey. Come on. Listen, Sheriff, what's the game? We've been waiting here three hours now. Well, listen, don't get impatient. All I know is that Hoppy told us to wait here for him. He'll be along shortly, don't worry. It's all right, it's just one of the boys. Get him up. We need money and we need it quick. Clean out the safe, Wendy. Boy, tie him on your saddle. All right, Winnie, let's get out of here before the sheriff gets back. You stay where you are for five minutes if you want to keep healthy. That shot comes from the bank. Sing, give me some hot coffee. Get 
your horses, quick! The bank was just held up. They went down that way. It was windy and lucky. We started after them, but somebody shot at us when we opened the door. Yeah, and I got a hunch it was Cassidy. Well, he was in the lunchroom. We'll see. You and Dad sneak in the back way. We'll go in the front. And if Cassidy makes a false move, drill him. Come on. How long have you been in here? That comes under the head of my business. Sing, how about my coffee? Well, this is my business. Wind and Lucky just held up the bank and they had outside help. And I got a pretty good hunch who it was. Windy and Lucky just held up a bank? That's the best joke I've heard in years. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Well, we'll get them in quick. And if I find that you had a hand in this, it'll be a necktie party for you, too. You watch for the sheriff and send him out to Windy Shack. Tell him I've gone out there. All right. Get him out. All right, get back in there. Get his guns and go call Nixon. Here's the bell. Come on, boys, let's go. Say, if the sheriff hears that, he'll come back in a hurry. You go back and bring him out. Okay. Oh, boys. Over this way, sing. That's it. Get 
Vic, get a knife. Hurry up, hurry up. There's Dad. Tell him I want it. Wouldn't you like he held up the bank? Well, what are you talking Never about? Never mind. Come on, hurry up. Come on, follow us, boy. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but they'll do something to Winnie and Lucky if you're not there. Well, that's right. Get my guns there. Cut thing loose. Fun since they had the measles. Never mind the fun. What I want to know is where's Hoppy? Fellas, I'll try and move in closer. Hey, look. Watch that rabbit go for his hole. Sure, from the posse. Yeah. Where's Hoppy? I knew Hoppy yet. Holy mackerel. Ain't he with him? All right, come the house, boys. Glad to see you. Got here just in time. What are you talking about? I could have held him off for a whole week all by myself. All right, come on. Let's go to jail. Jail? Come on. You never told us nothing about no jail. Come on, get going. 
I don't have to tell you fellas everything. All right, Sheriff, here they are. Get the cuffs on them. All right. Get their guns, boys. Mr. Colton, we've recovered the money stolen from your bank, but so as to give Wendy and Lucky a fair deal, I'm going to have to ask you to identify your property. Oh, why, of course. I'd know every bank. Where is it? Uh, just a minute. Thirty thousand dollars is a lot of money, and I ain't taking any chances with it while it's in my care. You men will have to leave your guns out here. You too, Hoppy. All right, come on. Mary, you wait out in the office, please. Now, Mr. Caldwell, you will please describe the bags and their contents. There were six bags. Each marked Ranch's National Bank. Each bag contained $5,000 in $20 gold pieces. I see. Wendy, you and Lucky uncover those bags and put them up here where we can all see them. Ranch's National Bank. 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 And Ranch's National Bank. That's right. Now open them up and count the money. in each bag but this one. And that's, uh, 820 short. Well, your identification ain't complete, Mr. Caldwell. Say, uh, Sheriff. Yeah? You know, I hate to pin this on Wendy and Lucky, but the case looks pretty complete to me. Mr. Caldwell, you'd swear that that was the money that Wendy and Lucky stole from your bank, wouldn't you? <laughs> Why, of course. There's no mistake about it. That's just what I thought. Yes, they've taken the $820 that's missing. But you're mistaken there, Mr. Carwell. Your own men stole that money while they were guarding it in that shack out on Sulphur Creek, where they took it after the holdup, while you and Mr. Nixon was trying to figure out a way to move it into the bank. Say, what does this mean? You figure it out. Why, I... I... Uh... <laughs> Where's my detective? <laughs> Jumping G. Hoshaphat. We'll get him for you, Mr. Caldwell. <laughs> hey. That's better. Goodbye, boys. <laughs> I'm sure glad you happened to ride into town, Hoppy. Yeah, and I'm sure glad Dick and Mary happened to ride into camp, too. Well, so long. Who are you? Happy riding. 